We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Garrett Cole will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's real easy to see why this guy's one of the top pitchers. His strikeout per nine ratio is off the charts. What does that tell me? Not only is his stuff good, but when he throws it in the strike zone, he's tough to hit. If he brings his A game, pack up your bats because he's going to punch out quite a few hitters. Leading off tonight At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. And we are set for baseball Adelberto. here this evening. Mondesi. First pitch coming. Here it is skied in the air to straightaway left. Therefore it is Stanton and he's got it for the first out. Batting second. The left fielder number four. Alex Gordon. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. His career line against Garrett Cole. Not great. And he's one for eight. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. 67 degrees our game time temperature. One out nobody on. And this is swung on and missed and Gordon becomes out number two now. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Whit Merrifield next to hit. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And it's quickly 0 2. Cole, or the Cole train as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball. Cold strike three, and the side is retired. Royals go down 1 2 3. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Danny Duffy gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher and every once in a while he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat.
Set to deliver on two and one. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now the 1-0. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. Fantastic season all the way around. Not only does this guy just get on base by base hits, but he also leads the league in slugging percentage, so he's up there doing a lot of damage. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Giancarlo Stanton now looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Duffy sets. Here it is. At the ball. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. One and one, here it is. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Two out, nobody on. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Now to the plate, Jorge Soler. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. One strike now from Cole. Nope, outside. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Here now the two two is looked at, and the count moves full. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside, 
isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Hunter Dozier digging in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. So digging in now, Salvador Perez. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Salvador Perez behind in the count, nothing in two. Bases are empty here with two men out. The ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Bring in Giovanni Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1-0. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Urshela has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. On the year, Urshela enters the day with a slugging percentage in the 460s, a number he can be proud of. A 1-1. 
Nope, inside, ball two. Duffy, playing here in his age 31 season, he was selected in the third round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The 2 1 home. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next three two swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first down. Leading off the inning your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he'll take a look at ball one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. The 1-0. Nope, that's down. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The 2 0 on the way 3 nope. and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut and he's looking to do damage. And he misses ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Stepping into the box, Mike Talkman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Torres stands at first with one out. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. The 1-1 one, one home. Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Grounded up the first baseline. Step on the bag for one. A tag, and he is out at second base. And a costly decision there is it's a double play turn to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Yankees lead this one one to nothing. Now batting, Ryan O'Hearn. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here's the pitch.
Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Standing in now, Michael Franco. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Brett Phillips. Brett Phillips will bat next. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Runner at first here, one man out. And he misses again, 2-0. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. The count now at 2-1. and one. From the stretch. He is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Boy, this guy has really now good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Adelbert Ks and we're just in the middle Marcus innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. To the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He flied out leading off the ball game. Here comes the 1 0. Two balls, no strike. A runner on first with two away. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One left for Kansas City. They still trail one nothing. Striding into the box, Luke Voigt, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. At the ball. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike right. one.
Hit on the ground to short. Speared on the dive. The throw to first. Safe. Remarkable play just to stop that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff man is aboard. The catcher. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Nobody out, runner on first. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. The one-two. Ball in. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. From the belt, kicks and deals. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2-2 two and two now. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Rounded back up the middle. Merrifield brings it in. The second for one. On the first. And for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play. And with this one, the side is retired. Now at the plate, Alex Gordon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh. 
And a good looking swing there from Gordon, but he can't come up with it, and it's 0 2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Nope. And here's a fastball on 0 2, but it misses 1 and 2 now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And a good job there to hold back as the count moves to two balls and two strikes now to the Kansas City left fielder. So a full count now. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. High in the air into shallow left center. Stanton has a read on it. One out. The batter number opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our road to the show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. With Merrifield next to bat. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. In is Jorge Soler. And so take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 0 1 on its way. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0 and 2 now. I know he's down the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging a bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Pause and the 0-2. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Owen oh, won the count. From the belt, the pitch. And it's one and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. In the dirt. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Fouled off. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. He'll get it into second. On to second, but he's in safely. As a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. The catcher, number 13. Well, that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one. With the bases empty, it doesn't hurt that much. But with a man on, that allows a run to score. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. 
as he'll take a look at ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One and oh, here it is. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Even at one and one, the pitch. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The set and the 2 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. The 2-2. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. It's a run on two hits here for KC. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. All tied at one and one. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 92 splits the plate and it's strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. To short. Mondesi brings it in. And that's the first down. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ends him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch here misses wide one and oh. Now the pitch. Eight. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. And after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One and oh, the count. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Yep, that ball went out. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And 
And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Striding in once again, Gio Urshela. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls in one strike. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it any time he wants for a strike. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. In the dirt here. Yeah, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. One run on three hits and one error on the Yankee line score so far. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Up next for the Yankees. Digging in for his second at bat. Torres. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Duffy sets and the pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Here's the 1 0. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. The set and the 2 and 0. Two balls and a strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Ready with the 2 1. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. So the lead runner moves up, but the runner on first was sleeping, it seems. One run on three hits and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Can't keep that one fair and now the count's full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. There's ball four. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. In there, strike one. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. Two out, base is loaded. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Checks his swing. Did he go around? 
No, says third base umpire Rusty Valentine. Ball one. Ball. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Now here's the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lays <laughs> off two and two now. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Here now the 2 2. Left side, but well foul. Here's another 2 2. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Franco, reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. That's inside. The 1 0 home is hey. taken, strike one. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. The 1-1 one, one home. At the ball. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Fouled away. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Sure. 
Stepping into the box, Brett Phillips. First offering on its way. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. This is one of those classic bunt situations here, but it's not a given anymore like it used to be, and that's the case even more so in the American League. One strike now from Cole. Swing and a liner. Foul. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gloved by LeMayhew. Torres at the bag. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. So they avoid what could have been a costly double play there. Well, they dodged the bullet that time by avoiding the double play. That would have been pretty demoralizing to end the inning. Now they've at least still got runners on the corners. Runners on the corners now with one man gone. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Here it comes, 1-0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Runners are at first and third, one away. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. He struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. At the plate now, Alex Gordon. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Comes set, the 0 1. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down 1 2. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. A ball and two strikes. I got to count two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Judge is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Royal strand a pair. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 
Stepping in, Luke Boyd. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. From the stretch. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. The 0 1 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to hit is the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1 0. Into the corner and slicing foul. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. High in the air and deep to left center field. Looking up is Gordon. Boom goes the dynamite. So a two run shot to left center his first home run of the season and it gives the Yankees a three to one lead. Hey I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball but that swing right there although in the middle innings could be the deciding factor and we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. The third baseman. Into the box now. Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball 2. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. And a fastball misses there, ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Coming to the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. He's ready. Now the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. 
but a foul ball one and two now. As a look now the pitch. Now this is slowly hit to short probably too slowly to get to and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. The bat, the right field. Error. Good. A man at second with one down and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year big Aaron Judge. He's set and the pitch. Ball, that's outside. Judge is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Here it comes on one and one. This one's down to third. Dozier brings it in and that's the second out. Now back left fielder. John Carlos. So here's the cleanup hitter Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball in there for a called strike. Oh and one count and the pitch what off the that? plate and in it's a ball and a strike great game plan so far by this offense they're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone the one one home is looked at for ball number two looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone gave up that home run earlier in the inning needs to get back to being aggressive called strike that time and it's even at two and two softly hit here to the left side but an easy play over at third and that'll be that Yankees get a couple on the two run home run five innings complete it's now three to one Yanks. In now, Whit Merrifield. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one, zero oh and one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The wind up and the zero oh one. Well. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. Here it is on three and one. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. Now that the right field. Oh man that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire but it goes the batter's way this time and he draws the walk. 
So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. From the belt, the pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Pitch is high. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a knuckle curve missed that time. 2 and 1. And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Yeah, Matt, I think one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up. And Dero, if you're the offense right now, you're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, usually the starting pitcher doesn't get to see the lineup three. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Judge looks up. Gone! A two run blast to straight away right field home run number 16 for him on the year and the Royals will draw level now at three apiece. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that and that brings in Hunter Dozier. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is on his horse. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Salvador Perez. And up steps Salvador Perez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did it. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 is taken for strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Void camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Now at the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. 
On to the bottom of the sixth. We're tied now with three apiece. Jesse Hahn enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 32, Jesse Hahn. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. He'll do battle with a new arm out there in their half of the sixth. Number 29. First pitch on its way. Swing and a line drive. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Stop. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Stepping in now, Torres. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Well, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, d to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. At the plate, Mike Talkman as he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. And two strikes now. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Hit out towards second. Merrifield picks it up. One there, and the tag gets him. But they do grab the lead on the run that scored away from the play. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. So base is empty now after the double play and stepping in the long ball threat, Luke Voigt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is low, ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. To two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees lead it four to three. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Leading off the inning, Michael Franco, and they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First pitch coming. Here it is. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. And 
and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The one one home. Well, that helps. Lifted down the line in left. On the move is Stanton. And he can't get to it as it bounces over the wall for a ground rule double, and the tying run will be in scoring position. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have got lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have gotten. So now to the plate, Brett Phillips. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 1 0. This is pulled into right. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Now that will go number two. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. The one two. Okay. We're in the seventh inning now of a four three ball game. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 oh 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And the payoff pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's how gone down on strikes in this pitch. one. So they've how really it. figured out how to attack this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left handed hitter due up. Into the box, Alex Gordon. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That evens it up one and one. One and one. Here it is. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Stanton. He's got it as the time run is left on base. Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Yankees four and the Royals three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and up to bat next it'll be the catcher Kyle Higashioka. 
the last at bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Now the pitch. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Line drive to left. And there's a base hit. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Now batter, third baseman, Miguel Andujar. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Comes set and the 0 1. And that finds the target, nothing in two now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Nobody out. Runner on first. And another foul ball. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. To the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew as he lifts it in the air to right field. Soler is there and that's the second out of the inning. The right fielder number 99. Aaron. Judge. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Judge. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Two out with the man at first. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Ready with the one and one. And it's one and two. Two straight. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. Then it remains a 4-3 game. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. First pitch on its way. One on its way. 
Swung on and missed that strike two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the 0 and 2. The count is 1 and 2. And it's fouled away. The 1 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The white beauty of the play. Jorge Soler. Chad Green takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two. Here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Hunter Dozier. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. One. Four three, our score here as we play the eighth. down the left field line and deep and that will end up a foul ball the one two swung on and missed he got him on strikes KC down in order score holds at four three. of inning number eight set to go and standing in is the veteran outfielder Giancarlo Stanton first pitch of the at bat on its way high in the air out to center field Phillips is there for it looks it into his glove and there's one gone now batting number 29 Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. One out, nobody on.
swing and a miss for strike one. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Mirafield scoops it up in time to first, and there are two away. Now batter, not shortstop, Waver. So coming to the plate, Torres. He singled his last time up. Hans ready. First pitch on its way. At the ball. Torres, a Venezuelan born ball player. He's in his third season as a major league player. Fouled off. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No, that's down. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And here's Soler to make the grab, and that will end the inning. 1 2 3 go the Bombers, but they hold on to a 4 3 lead. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So next to the plate for the Royals, Salvador Perez. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, Matt Ian, looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this evening. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh and one here it comes easy take there on the sinker well off the outside you know something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike Chapman Nicknamed the missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three year deal. And he fouls this one off. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. The 1 2 doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. And he takes the ball three, so it's a full count now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in now for Kansas City. Ryan O'Hearn. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Ready with the 0-1. Turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Judge looks up. That one is out of here. This game is tied.
a solo shot here to straight away right field as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Now that be the hit. In now, Michael, Michael Franco. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He doubled his last time through. home it's a fastball that misses this inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there as a reliever you can't let that happen nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box that one's more like it he says back to two and one now he's gotten a favorable call or two at the plate in this at bat so that take on two and oh is Probably a result of feeling like the umpires got a pretty tight zone. Didn't go his way that time, though. To two and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Stepping in now, Brett Phillips. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. But the Royals are able to knock things up on the solo home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. All even now at four apiece. Digging in. Mike Talkman. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. This is line to left. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Boy, that would look like a cinch extra base hit off the bat, but a terrific diving catch in left center field. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next to the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Han gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Two out, nobody on.
This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Ball two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Into the windup. The 2-2 pitch. Hit hard toward first. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing. Jake Kalish takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. Number 74, Jake Kalish. Miguel Andujar will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Here's the first pitch. Change up, called strike one. The 0 1. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. A pause and the 0 2. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two run shot to straightaway left, and with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball.